This is Montana Right Now. Keep moving boards, glass, nails, an entire house and snow out to get to that main line. So this is this is St. Joe. He's a four-year-old bull, weighs about 14 or 1,500 pounds. That noise you hear is a big investigation unit set up by the Gallatin County Sheriff's Office. Temperatures could drop down to negative 27 when with wind chill, take it down to negative 35. That is colder, or about as cold, as the South Pole. An ice jam flood warning has been canceled by the National Weather Service after river levels have dropped a little bit. But I've got to show you this ice jam. Yeah, look how close that is getting up to the Logan Trident Bridge. Wow. 40 to 60,000 bees per box. If your car is stuck on the side of the road, you'd want to use a shovel to dig out your bottom tires before adding kitty litter to get traction. So this is a thermal imaging camera. It's one of the tools the Bozeman Paranormal Society uses. You hold down the trigger there and scan it over an area and look at the temperature read here. Right now he is in the chute and he is ready to go. Lucky for me, the gate didn't open. By Montana children and people across Montana, most of which are adorning the giant Capitol Christmas tree. And today we have the privilege of getting onto the South Lawn. Hello from Washington, D.C. I'm at the Montana Coffee right now with Senator Steve Daines here. Hi, Steve. Hey, good, good morning. morning. Hey, I'm at a coffee. Time to get some more. Me too. I'm meeting Montanans from, from all over. And I actually see one coming up here. That's Senator John Tester. How are you? Good. How are you? So we're doing a Facebook Live right now and just welcoming everyone to here to the Montana Coffee. Yep, big turnout today. Of course, today's the day we light the national Christmas tree. Steve Daines has just taken the stage tonight. after results come out that he has won the Senate primary race. I'll go to Steve right now. You can hear for yourself what he has to say. Police say there was an early morning shooting. It happened about 3.15 a.m. And I'll give you a look at just where in Butte this parking lot is. The grizzly bear attack happened in the area of the Tom Minor Basin right below me. Here at Belgrade High School today, there were rumors that a student had brought a gun to school in connection to the stabbing death of his father. Franks interrupted him, saying he hadn't hurt anyone and he didn't understand why he was there. To you at this time, this is My father's alive. They still don't know the cause of the fire and they're probably going to be here for another 24 hours trying to put out the flames, well put out the hot spot so it's safe for them to go inside and start determining what caused the fire. I'm going to turn around flip my camera around to give you a look. Rays heating in sheet metal, which you can see right behind me, and this is the closest I've been able to get to the business on Front Street so far today. CryptoWatt LLC's main mining facility will be here, the old MSC Technologies building on the south end of town. Impacts of smoking and tobacco use, and here's one of the ads you will see. I'm milling about, I've, I've ran into Senator Daines, Senator Tester, now okay. Attorney General Tim Fox. As promised in our newscast, I'm following up our story about grizzly bear delisting with a little bit of information about the possibility of a grizzly bear hunt. Bringing a loaded gun to school, which is actually a misdemeanor crime here in Montana. He even let me borrow the helmet that he was wearing at the time of the crash that saved, that the sheriff says saved his life. I'm gonna give you a look real quick uh, at the protest as it's happening. Oh, and here's a sign we've got right here. I put a swear word, so I'm not gonna show it. Okay, no showing swear words, but let's see your signs. Here, I'll stand out of the way. Nifty little filter attached to the front and the lens of the camera because just, just like your eyes, you can't look directly at the sun and our camera can't either. And I just kind of taped it on. <laughs> so when it's at totality, I'll flip it up. Gavin's a fighter. He's he's coming back. He's kind of proven him wrong, so to speak. On September 10th, Gavin Foth's life changed forever in an ATV accident that left him almost completely paralyzed. He injured his C5 and C6 vertebrae. Um, so he had an eight-hour spine surgery. But the star athlete, his family, and his community are determined to bounce back. He's getting stronger every day. I mean, we've been told many things, and he has overcome <laughs> so many. Gavin's recovery effort has become a movement, with schools and even Gavin's rival football teams coming together under the name G-Strong. The hashtag G-Strong is kind of really his... It's his mantra. Gavin's parents, Courtney Combs and Matthew Foth, have been at their son's side every day in the ICU, sleeping out in an RV in the hospital parking lot, and welcoming Gavin's many visitors, which include his seven siblings, his friends, and his football team. Almost every school in this valley has wrote cards and uh, letters and donated, you know, done 50-50 drawings, and uh, 
I mean, people that I don't even think they know who Gavin is. A particularly sweet moment to share when his football team and coaches visited, lifted his arms and said the team chant. If you look closely, Gavin mouths along with them, although he cannot speak. What are we? One, One this. Who are we? One, One family. family. How are we going to do it? Together. Together. Family on three. Four, two, three. Family. family. Tomorrow, Gavin and his parents will fly to the Craig Hospital near Denver, Colorado which is home to one of the top spinal rehabilitation centers in the country. There, Gavin will work on speech, movement, and even go to classes. We don't know, you know, the final outcome. We're hoping and praying for a miracle and 100% recovery, of course. And they say the G-Strong movement in Montreal will keep them all going throughout the recovery and into their new normal. It's been the most amazing thing that I have ever witnessed. Love you, man. Oh, yeah. I love you. <laughs>